What secrets have you learned about your neighbors through your paper-thin walls? She sounds like a man squatting more than his ability when she is doing it. She poops at 4.30 a.m. and pounds on the wall due to constipation, and her ex-husband likes to do her in the kitchen with the windows open so everyone can hear. Story 2. I heard my neighbor give birth when I was a kid. It was planned and there were a bunch of people there. She had the baby in a bathtub or something like that. Story 3. My neighbors used to get really high and make crazy food and eat snacks loudly late into the night. My favorite thing I ever heard when I was passing by was one of them saying, Dude, yes. And then put some cheese in it, dude. The other guy then said, You mean stuff it inside the bell pepper? Hell yeah! And then put it right in the oven! Which followed with some loud moaning. Story 4. The family living next to me had a daughter around 13 or 14 years old and her mom walked in on her laying face down on the bathroom floor trying to take a picture of either her butthole, other stuff, or both in order to send it to some 30-something-year-old guy she had met online. I know all of these details because the mom shouted them at the dad when he got home from work and berated the daughter for hours. The mom also called the police to report the guy asking for the pictures. I ate my supper cold because I didn't want to make microwave noise in the kitchen because the mom was on a roll and it was pretty crazy. Story 5 Years ago, I lived in an apartment with the thinnest walls I've ever encountered. I could hear everything, and my neighbor and his girlfriend were quite active to say the least. One day I started thinking, her voice sounds different. Sure enough, the next day the girlfriend came over and they had a huge fight. I don't know how she found out, but she found out pretty quickly. Story 6 My ex and I heard the neighbors going at it. They were a younger couple around our age. Their bedroom wall was right up against our bedroom because the layouts are mirrored. We laughed really hard about it at first, but then it got really annoying. So we started making all the sex noises at the same time they did. After about a couple of months of doing the noises to them, I ran into the neighbor getting mail and we both cracked up hard. Come to find out they had heard us doing it first, and started making the noises to mimic us, which we thought was them doing it. For the past few months, the four of us were literally laying in bed making sex noises at each other through the walls. I think that's a hilarious way to make some new friends. I don't know how over those couple of months either couple didn't get tired of going back and forth making the noises. If it were me... I'd have just turned on the TV and a fan for background noise. Story 7 Sometimes I can feel when my neighbor uses the toilet. If I'm in my bathroom, especially on the toilet, I feel a shift upwards as if they sat down at the same table as me. Story 8 My old neighbor was really lonely and adorable. She talked to her two dogs all the time. Her husband had died, so she lived there by herself. It was sad, but we had a friendship with her. We would visit with our son occasionally, even after we moved. Story 9. My neighbor next to me has an unhappy relationship. The neighbor above me is gay and has dreams of going to Broadway. He also might be an insomniac. Story 10. My upstairs neighbors absolutely love to move their furniture around. I assume this is supposed to be a secret because it only happens between 3 to 4 a.m. Story 11. My next-door neighbor used to constantly break up with her boyfriend and have loud, sobbing phone calls with her friends late at night. One time a friend of hers called the police because he was worried she would hurt herself. I saw the police walking down the hall as I was coming home and they thought I was her at first. They then went into her apartment and spoke for 30 minutes about love, pills, and the importance of staying resilient in the face of breakups. The officer was a great guy, but I heard way too much. I can also confirm that nothing romantic went down between her or the cop. He was a sweet, fatherly kind of guy who gave a sad young girl a patient ear when she was upset. She's now back with the boyfriend and their relationship became healthier after. I assume she took the cop's advice to heart. Story 12. I've learned that my neighbor probably abuses his wife. Which of the three a.m. hallway arguments brought me to that conclusion? It could be the one where she locked him out and he tried to break down the door or the one where four separate neighbors called the cops because they were screaming at each other for almost an hour. The one that really fixed my impression of him, though, is when he chased her down the stairs carrying a metal pipe, and he swung so hard at her that he broke off a chunk of the concrete. I kept the broken shards as a souvenir for the cops. 
Story 13. My neighbor's teenage daughter sent some nudes via Facebook and got caught by her mom. That girl got yelled at like I've never heard. I heard it all because I turned off everything in my place that made noise and stood with my ear against the wall basically the entire time. Story 14. There were two women that lived above me. They were college-aged, same as me and my roommate. You could hear everything through the floor. Everything. The woman above me did it all the time. That's fine. But it was always loud and it was always at 4 or 5 a.m. I had to work early a lot of days, so it was really irritating. One night I stood on my bed and hit the ceiling with my shoe and asked them to quiet down. The noise stopped, but the talking started. The guy said, Did you hear that? I think someone was talking to us. The girl said, Nah, the dude downstairs is probably watching TV. So I then said, I am talking to you. The people on the third floor doing it really loudly. Please be quiet. I gotta work in a couple hours. A second guy said, He's definitely talking to us. Confused, I said out loud, Wait, two guys? Then a third guy said, No, there's three of us. It's hard to be mad at that point. No wonder there was so much noise coming from above. Story 15. I just got my first solo apartment and I'm loving it. Most of the people are my age and really cool. But there is this needle-thin 50 to 60-year-old woman that walks the halls every day and night. Every single day. She waits for people to come out of their apartment and then sparks up very strange conversations. I looked out my window the other night at about 1 a.m. and she's wandering around the parking lot picking up cigarette butts and smoking them. Story 16. The woman next door has a relationship with her cat that's interesting. She's a recluse in her mid-forties. Nothing wrong with that, but she doesn't seem to be handling it well. She treats it like a human, and I'm not talking about how much she loves it. Her relationship with it plays out as if he were an actual family member, with the family dynamics and all. They have fights. A lot of them. Mostly she feels that he neglects her feelings and doesn't appreciate how much time she puts into being at work and doing all of the housework. She wishes he would at least help take the trash out. When she has sexy time with herself, she doesn't understand why he complains about having to go outside. Last night they had another fight, but I got home late so I don't know what it was about. She spent about an hour throwing things and eventually kicked him out for a while. It's weird. Story 17. My husband and I moved into a townhouse. It was an old building built in the 20s with brick walls between the units. We didn't hear a thing from the neighbors, like literally no sounds at all. We weren't even sure anyone was living next door until we met them because it was so quiet. We figured the soundproofing was excellent. My husband and I were never quiet since we had no reason to be. We had two AM dance parties in our kitchen, screaming to outcast as loud as we possibly could. Then the neighbors moved out, and a new couple moved in. The second they showed up, we heard everything they did. Every single quiet conversation, every time someone closed a cabinet, every tiny sound we heard. It was not soundproof. The first couple was just incredibly quiet and we were huge, gigantic jerks. It's been years and I still feel bad. I can't imagine the embarrassment OP must have felt when discovering that the walls were actually not very soundproof at all. To think back on every single little thing you said that might be embarrassing or rude, and knowing that the neighbors 100% heard you. Story 18 My neighbor is the perfect neighbor. He's a single guy in his 40s. He makes no noise and is rarely home. I see him leaving sometimes in the morning, always in a suit and tie with his hair perfectly combed. One weekend each month, his two sons come to visit him. They're both pretty young. And the week before they come, I have heard him on the balcony talking with someone on the phone about the plans he's made to do with his boys once they're there. Also, once they're at his apartment, I can hear him read to them every night before bed. 